Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, the two hour knife challenge. Are you up to it? So the challenge here is pretty simple. Make a knife in two hours. Now this is a pretty doable project, but it'll definitely keep you busy the whole time. Think you can do it? It's not a contest, just something to give you a feel for what you can do in a certain amount of time. So on that note, no more screwing around, let's go. So we are starting right now. Here's what I'll be using. I'll start by drawing the pattern on the steel. Next, a couple of quarter inch holes. On most of my videos, I'm trying to teach you something, but not here. Just showing you how I blitzkrieg through this thing. I'll also get the heat treating oven going. It takes quite a while to get the oven up to 1475 degrees, so I want to start it now. I'd probably use my forge just for convenience, but I've got a new CNC machine coming next week, so I've got my forge all packed up so there's room for the forklift to get the machine into my shop. Now over to the grinder. First, I'm grinding the profile, going flat out on my bader with a 36 grit ceramic belt. Moving on to the bevels. I'll start with the main bevels, then move to the false edges on the top. This is not the world's most complicated grind, but it's not super easy either. This is a fairly broad blade, which makes the grind more difficult in and of itself. But more importantly, these little false edges on the top are pretty easy to screw up, again, especially on thin stock like this. I wanted to do this with a thin piece of steel because getting good grinds with thin stock is way harder than it is with thick stuff. I wouldn't say these grinds are great, but it's crunching along okay. Kind of feels like it's taking longer than I'd like, though. If I fall behind in the grinding, there won't be much I can do to catch up in the end. Just so you know what my plan is here, the idea is that the clock will keep running until I finish the quench. You have to temper this steel for a couple hours, so the clock pauses after the quench, then it comes back on as soon as the tempering cycle is over. No pauses, no do-overs, no bathroom breaks, nothing like that. Once the clock starts going, it goes. Now that the grinds are roughed in, at least in a semi-non-terrible way, I'll pop the knife in the heat treating oven. While I'm doing that, I'll prepare my scales. I'm going to make a multi-layer handle using scraps of micarta from other projects. These are so old they're mildewed, so some careful prep will be required to make the bond hold okay.
perfect timing. As soon as I got the scales clamped, the blade was ready to quench. Into some fast quench oil, and we're in business. After testing with a file to make sure the blade hardened, I'll pause the timer. We're right about at one hour, which is right on schedule. Hey, if you're enjoying this video or the other knife making videos I've been making for the past 14 years, yep, that's right, please help this channel by supporting us on Patreon. All these cool cameras and lights and stuff cost money, and the time I spend on these videos just doesn't begin to get covered by the tiny amount of money that I get from YouTube. As a way of thanking you for your support, I make plans for most of my builds, including this one, available exclusively to Patreon subscribers. Patreon.com slash Walter Sorrels. Oh, and by the way, if you've been thinking about getting started in knife making, but you just couldn't quite figure out how to get started. I'll be doing a free webinar in a couple of weeks with a big download of everything you want to know about how to get started. All you need to do is sign up. Links for all this good stuff in the cards and description. All right, back to it. After the blade finishes tempering, yep, that's my kitchen, we'll be ready to do the handle. Now I'll saw a couple pieces of bronze rod for the pins. I'll briefly clean up the scale on the blade in my abrasive blast cabinet. Now I'll drill the holes in the handle scales. To do this, I'll start by attaching the handle scales together. A couple dabs of super glue, then a spritz of accelerator, then over to the drill. Then I'll grind the front faces of the scales while they're still super glued together. Now, time to glue up the handle. I could use super glue again just to speed things up, but instead I'll use 10 minute epoxy, which is a little easier to deal with and I think holds better on steel. It has the downside of eating a lot of clock though. I'm taking a little bit of a chance here, but I'm confident I can get this done. Not sure why I'm so confident, but I am. Just how I roll, I guess. Oops, you moron, wrong epoxy. Also, I epoxied the wrong side of one of the handle scales. Nice. Just as an aside, I obviously didn't get everything super carefully teed up so that I didn't waste any time during the build. In addition to that, I also had to drag all my cameras around, get things in focus, meter, all that camera stuff. So there's probably 15 or 20 minutes of filmography slowing me down here. If I were just doing this in my shop without filming everything, I could have gotten this whole thing pretty comfortably in two hours. As it was, I really cut things close. Now I wait. And wait. And wait. Now, time to blast away on the handle. By the time I'm done, the epoxy should be at least workable. 
In a perfect world, you go 24 hours of full cure before you grind it, but that ain't happening. Again, if you're looking to make the best knife possible, you obviously wouldn't do it this way. But making a $10,000 work of art is not the goal. We're all about fast today. First, the pins and then the outline. Then we'll grind an ergonomic profile. And a little of this fun stuff. And here's our time running out. Three, two, one, zero. I won't lie, I spent about two more minutes evening up the little divot things. But otherwise, that's it. Two hours on the money. Like I said, that's including all the focusing, metering, schlepping, general camera work. Now, I will spend another few minutes making it pretty for the thumbnail and the final photographs. But I'm not going to change anything significant about it. Bottom line, that's a two-hour knife, bro. Look, would I put my logo on this and sell it as a tactics armory knife or Walter Sorrell's blade? No, I would not. But again, that's not the point here. The challenge is just to see if you can do a certain thing in a certain amount of time. And honestly, I mean, this is not a bad knife. It's properly heat treated. It's good steel. You know, I like the design. Opinions differ on that, obviously. I kind of made it in a slapdash sort of way. But the point is, you can go to gun shows and see guys selling much rougher knives uh, than this for, you know, several hundred dollars. So, being able to get something like this done in two hours, pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Keep on making those knives. Thanks for watching guys if you like what we're doing here please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos want to buy a knife from me check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com dig in the channel you can support our video making efforts on patreon you know i've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years so i hope you'll show some love for all that hard work link in the cards and descriptions Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com